Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I have this rare opportunity to do an unboxing and comparison of two steel roof racks. One is from Max Ho, uh, which I bought from Amazon, and the other is the Ho Master from Harbor Freight. So I will do an unboxing of this and a comparison and my initial impressions and also some measurements. Uh, let's see if they are the same or different. So first is the Max Hall uh, steel roof rack from Amazon. Today it's priced at $81.65 with free shipping. The capacity is 150 pounds and the measurement according to the box is at 46 inches by 36 7 8 by four and a half but I think the dimensions given is based on exterior dimensions and you will see what I mean later on next is the whole master roof mounted cargo carrier from Harbor Freight and this one it's priced today at $89.99 with coupon it can go down to $71.99 but Harbor Freight doesn't offer free shipping so it's a flat rate of $6.99 when it's shipped within the US. The dimension of this one is 38.75 inches by 34.25 by 4.38 inches and this is the interior dimensions and we will compare them later on. So these are the two uh, cargo carriers open from the box and you can see they're very much the same. It comes with manuals and the hardware is inside a box and it's pretty much arranged the same, the basket itself. And without the manual, just looking at them, they're pretty much the same. So these are the two uh, roof racks out of the box and as you can see they're very similar. Uh, they have uh, four sets of um, brackets composed of a U-bolt and the U-bolt for the maxol is uh, rubber coated and the same is true with the bolts from Holemaster they're also rubber coated and this plastic uh, brackets which hold the basket from the frame are pretty much the same. The rubber plugs uh, to hold water out of the bolts are pretty much the same also. They're made of hard rubber. So there are four sets of brackets in each cargo basket. And this rubber tubing which keeps the water out of the frame are also the same they go in between the connections to seal the connections and keep the water out and prevent rusting One main difference is, are the labeling in the cargo basket of the max hole. Uh, so you can pretty much tell which end connects to what. Is there property properly labeled? And you cannot find that with the uh, Harbor Freight cargo basket. So you pretty much have to figure out how to connect them. And if the holes don't line up, then you just have to turn it around. Which is not so difficult to do. 
One thing I noticed though with the max hole when it came in is there's this little bend uh, with the hole master it's pretty much flat but as you can see here there's a bend in the rack here in the basket it's probably it was caused by the shipping the max hole was shipped by UPS and the harbor freight by FedEx which goes to show how easily it is to bend. As for the welding of the tubing, uh, with the main frame it's uh, fully welded, but with the undercarriage it's just a spot weld. And it's also the same when it comes to the hole master of Harbor Freight. It's full weld at the top and at the bottom it's a spot weld as well. They're both pretty much covered with uh, paint so the welds are protected. And I'm not sure though how it will hold in time goes on but one thing I noticed with the hole master and the max hole as you can see the bend in the tubing of this uh, hole master and compare it to the bend with the max hole you can see there's quite a bit of fold not sure how's that gonna translate with regard to the strength of the tubing uh, this one is pretty much bent like it's folded and with the uh, harbor freight it's like it's uh, they use a roller to bend it it may translate to a weak spot when it comes to the max hole. So going to the measurement, it turns out they're pretty much the same. When it comes to the width and the length of the basket, they're not, not much different. As you can see here, the width it is about um, close to 36 inches. And it's also the same when it comes to the whole master see there it's almost 36 inches inside it's about 35 So you might be wondering how come I have uh, two brands of uh, cargo baskets and uh, actually the first one I ordered was the whole master from Harbor Freight but after a few days I got the notice that they wouldn't be able to fulfill my order however there's no way to cancel an order online from Harbor Freight and I fear that it isn't really going to come on time so I ordered the max hole in Amazon thinking that whichever order came first that's the one I'm gonna use and just return the other one. Turns out in the end they both came in at the same time. So this gave me an opportunity to do a comparison of the two cargo baskets and actually compare them. Turns out they're the same 
and with only minor differences and however the shipping from Amazon uh, the product came a bit there's a bit of a damage there not sure if it is it came uh, like this from the factory or it's a damage that was caused by the shipping uh, in the end I only got to choose one and return the other and you will see which one in the next clip so in the end uh, I guess the winner is uh, the Harbor Freight the whole master cargo basket they're pretty much the same and this is how it look look like on our vehicle it's a Toyota RAV4 and the size and the width is uh, uh, okay it looks good so why would you choose one over the other uh, in terms of dimensions they're the same construction wise I'm more inclined to go with a hole master mainly because of the bends on the tube with the max hole but in terms of transaction uh, Amazon has an advantage because Harbor Freight doesn't offer free shipping and there's no way for you to cancel your order online and if you're not close to a Harbor Freight store in your area there's no way for you to return it except to go to the store uh, they will accept it full price except that you will pay uh, you cannot refund your shipping charges with Amazon there's free return and free shipping and you can just drop it off to a UPS store and it's worry free that may be an advantage for the max hole and, and a consideration for you when you buy or when you choose which one but otherwise they're pretty much the same so thank you for watching my video and I'll, I will provide a link on the two products on uh, the description page. Again, thank you very much.